And in business news, we we'll start from Lagos, where the Securities and Exchange Commission is calling on stakeholders in the capital market to align their regulatory frameworks with the Financial Actions Tax Force Standards. The Director General of the Commission, Dr. Emitomi Agama, made the appeal during the 2024 Compliance Summit. We together by the Nigerian Capital Market Institute, a subsidiary of SEC in Lagos. The DG said it is important to adopt the uh, to FATF standards to maintain the integrity of capital markets and protect Nigeria's financial system. The summit provides the capital market operators with tools and knowledge necessary to thrive in a complex regulatory environment, fostering a culture of compliance and integrity in their operations. Our role as the SEC, being the regulator of the VASPs, that's the virtual asset service providers, is to provide enlightenment to Nigerians and indeed to let, uh, get them to understand exactly what you know, they need to do. But before we can achieve that, there's a need to speak to the compliance officers and the chief executives of these institutions, getting them to understand the various vulnerabilities that exist in this sphere. The most popular product within the vast category is cryptocurrency. It is highly volatile, however, right, it's still a product. So, primarily for the SEC, as about investors' protection, but also protecting those who are involved in it. It is a very terrible tool because of anonymity and pseudonymity that the sector avail to the people. That's why this type of compliance summit is very important to make sure that we are make everybody aware of the effort of the Security and Exchange Commission, who is a regulator in this sector. Women across the insurance industry have amplified their voices and reiterated their commitment to promoting gender diversity, equal representation, and opportunities for women in the industry. This call was made at a press conference ahead of inaugural conference of the African Insurance Women Association with theme, the focus of insurance, trends, challenges, and opportunities. The discussions at this event will focus on emerging trends, challenges, and opportunities within the industry, with a special focus on the pivotal role women play in shaping its future. The leadership of the association, through its president of AIWA, Echi Moore, stressed the need for a stronger role of women in the industry and a place in the continent's risk management market, where they would contribute to the growth of the larger economy. Into crucial issues such as the role of innovation and technology, cyber and credit risk protection, the opportunities presented by the African continental free trade area, and gender diversity. This conference is not just about celebrating women in insurance, it is about shaping the future of insurance in Africa. The discussions, insights, and partnerships formed at this event will help define the strategies for making insurance more accessible, innovative, and inclusive across the continent. We already want to be respected and accorded the right of place as human beings, as women who contribute to the economy of any nation. We all know that women, if there's a woman in a home, there's a huge gap. We help our men counterparts. Well, let's take you to the ports where traders have been cautioned against importing arms, ammunition, and other prohibited items and falsely declaring them as personal effects. This warning was issued by the Controller of PTML Customs Command following recent discoveries of arms and ammunition during cargo inspections at the terminal. TVC News Senior Business Correspondent Ifunaya is a report. During the command's quarterly press briefing, Comptroller Attorney Danny Young revealed that anti-smuggling efforts led to the discovery of arms and ammunition, including pistols, 260 rounds of ammunition, and various empty shells and cartridges, all hidden in imported used vehicles. Other seized goods include used tires, refrigerators, and clothing, among others. You can see the pistol we're talking about. You have these pistols there. You'll be surprised that some of these things, they hide them in the tank cover. They are hid in the tank cover. That's all I'm saying now. They open the tank cover and put it. Some under the seat where you do not expect, you see them. 
But because our officers are diligent enough to do their work, they will ransack the entire vehicle rather than they're able to get all these things. Regarding the command's revenue generation, Comptroller Daniel reported that 239.23 billion naira has been remitted to the Federation account from January to September, marking a 29% increase compared to the same period in 2023. He highlighted that the command street facilitation initiatives have reduced clearance time for compliant rolling rollout cargoes to a record-breaking two hours. Within the period under review, our trade facilitation and use of doing business strategies have been sustained with a record-breaking two hours clearance time for a compliant rural cargo. An efficient and accessible dispute resolution committee has been strengthened and working harmoniously to regularly brief the customs area controller with a view to quickly resolving all trade disputes. Emphasizing collaboration with stakeholders and sister regencies, Comptroller Daniel handed over a container with environmentally harmful items to the Nigeria Environmental Standards and Regulation Enforcement Agency for further investigation. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos. Well, from the pots to the stock market, where the market has continued with its rising prices as investors position baskets for better earnings. F. Young Gekop takes it from here. Banking stocks continue to take attention of many investors playing the nation's securities markets. The expectation of good dividend from the sector at the close of the year drive buying traffic across several trade counters. Big banks in the likes of GT Holdings, UBA, First Bank Holding and Standard Bank have the markets to strengthen its performances in trade sectors. Market index responded in the upward direction, hitting 0.20%. Closing trades threw up declining prices on Dangote Sugar, Fidelity Bank, United Capital, Surplus, and Kyotex. Nearly 600 million units of securities with a value above 24 billion Naira were crossed in the sectors. Traders in the markets expect robust transactions in the coming months as year-end approaches. If you echo TVC News, Lagos. Crude oil prices steadied near $74 a barrel as the top U.S. diplomat renewed efforts to push for a ceasefire in the Middle East and slow demand growth in China. Well, the U.S. West Texas intermediate crude sales for $70.98 with an uptick of 0.60%. Brent also experienced an upward price margin of 0.50%, sell at $74.66. Bonnie Light sells for $78.62, down 2.84%. An OPEC basket is down 0.33% to sell at $73.21. That's business. Next is sports.